What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here. Welcome back to Forza Motorsport 7. We are officially kicking things off and getting into the Forza Drivers Cup and our very, very first championship, which is the Seeker Championship. So we have a large plethora of events with a bunch of showcases as well, which are always really cool. So the first thing we could do is start off with Hot Hatch. We can do any one of these. Hot Hatch, I think we're going to start off with that. Uh, Forza Trophy Trucks. Polaris RZR spec. So those are going to be kind of like off-roady kind of things. Uh, historic Road Racing. So it looks like Classic Muscle. Uh, Rise of the Supercar. Oh, man. I see a McLaren F1. Oh, God. That thing is amazing. I also see a Lamborghini Countach. Oh, no. Is that a Diablo? That's a Diablo. Um, and then we've got the Open Wheel Legend. So I don't think we need to do all of these series. Just enough to move us on to the next one. So we'll kind of see what we're going to do. We're going to start off with, of course, the Modern Hot Hatch. Those things are basically... They're good. They're if good starter. Racing, you'll need a car. Thanks. Now the first one is on me, so go ahead and pick what you want. Okay. These cars prove you shouldn't judge a vehicle by its size. Designed and built for performance and practicality, these hot hatches are perfect for racing around tight road circuits. Okay, so we're given a plethora of. I'm assuming it's going to be front drive hot hatches. So right up on top, we have the Audi S1 from 2015. Hyundai Veloster Turbo, that's a big old can of nope on that one. Uh, the 2011 Peugeot 308 GTI, not a bad car. The Vauxhall Astra VXR, this thing has so much power, I think. It's got more power than it can actually handle. It's something ridiculous, like 300 and some, like really up there. It's just, and it's a front wheel drive car, so it's just understeers like an absolute maniac. Anyway, the Abarth 695, wow, that's a fast little Fiat. Uh, 11, Alpha, Guilletta, Quadrifoglio, Verde, <laughs> lots on there, uh, Audi RS3 Sportback, Ford Focus RS, guys, I'm thinking I'm leaning towards this, so it's not front drive oriented, uh, we, I might actually pick the 17 Focus RS, we also have the Type R, which is front drive, actually, let me look, it's just show you, the Audi is obviously all wheel, front drive, front drive, See, yeah, it is front drive. That's what I thought. Because I remember they made one of them that was all-wheel drive. But maybe I'm thinking of the Vauxhall Insignia. Was it the Insignia? I am honestly not 100% sure. Uh, either way, let's keep looking here. I got to say, these vehicle-like models don't look too good, do they? I mean, I think they look better in-game. Oh, look, my buddy would my buddy would absolutely adore it if I picked this car. Because he's got a Mazda Speed 3. Uh, it's actually the same year and everything. Uh, what do we got? The Benz A45 AMG. John Cooper Works Mini. That's a good car. Renault Clio RS. Renault Megane RS 250. Vauxhall Corsa. See, this is the car I was thinking of, I think. I'm not sure. The Corsa. This is a smaller Vauxhall. And then the Golf R from V-Dub. Um, honestly, they're all very similar, but I think I'm going to have to go out and pick the RS. It's got... I think the best. Oh wait, the best speed that goes to the GTI, which is kind of odd. I thought it would definitely go to the uh, the Astra, but yeah, it goes to the Peugeot GTI. And so five seven five nine six one. I want good braking and handling too, though. Actually, the Speed Three. Oh no, that's the Type R. Sorry, the Type R has excellent speed, and handling is actually quite good. But it's front and drive, so you got to take that into account. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I want the Focus RS. I think that's fair. Let's go with the Focus RS. This is a car I would like to own. That you can use to personalize your car. I got. I love that regular color, though. Uh, nah. Here's the colors. This I can't remember what this blue is called. But this gray is also really, really nice. It looks like a Nardo gray. But I'm going to go with blue. I can't remember what that blue color is called anymore. But anyway, we're getting this one for free. Yes. Focus RS. We're going to hit up the Hotch hat, Hotch Hatch, I said. Hot Hatch track. See what we can do with it. I'm not sure exactly how many races Before are involved you race, either. You can make some last minute choices. You can change your gear, tune your car, and more. Never hurts to give everything one more look before you hit the track. Let's see. 
Improved race rewards. Can you use this multiple times? So it's at 200%. I'll save one then. Because I have four of these bad boys. So we'll leave those on for now then. Is there anything else we can do? So Maple Valley Raceway. Now this first one I know is going to be a lot shorter. So. Keep things properly matched. This race has been homologated. Meaning every car on the track meets the same standards. Okay, cool. This way, the race will be kept competitive but fair. Okay. Everything set? Let's start when you're ready. I'm ready, man. Ready to get it on. Yeah, see, the cars look way better in here. But in the menus, they don't look that great. Actually, that's my friends right there. That white one, that's what he got. Here we go! Woo! Look at this, guys. Now, this is insanely accurate. This is unbelievable. Sorry for the bumps. Now, the front, the four-wheel drive is gonna help us here against the most of the front drive opponents here. Splitting them, look at that. Looking good. Third place so far, not too shabby. Hard on the brakes. Don't need to really break, just split them. Look at this. Let them know who's boss. Heavy on the brake, heavy on the brake. Oh no, hit the E brake, hit the E brake. Uh, it went a little wide. Not a very good line there. I was trying to just force him out. Look who's in the front right now, guys. The four drive vehicles got the Golf R. I, I beat him in power. I, I should have him on power. Told you, we got him. He's gone. Get ready for braking. Feather the throttle. Feathering looking good. Easy. A uh, bit of understeer there. I mean, four drive cars will understeer, but not as badly as uh, front wheel drive cars. Unless they have, I mean, I've actually driven a 2000, what was it, a 2016 Golf GTI. And I've never seen a diff that was that clever. That thing was just insane. I had like no understeer at all. So I mean, new cars, they do have some a pretty impressive, some of them are very advanced, some of them are just not, but. Nice, oh, we're gone, man. Two, there's five laps total on this bad boy. I gotta say, compared to Forza 6, uh, these races are way more organized. You know what I mean? Like, like I can see what's in the championship and, you know, it's nice. Don't need to break, just off the throttle a little bit. Hard on brakes here. Hard on brakes, this is a sharp one. Feather, feather, full power. Excellent, nice. Clip the apex. This is so cool, dude. Like, look how real. Oh, shit, pay attention, sorry. Look how realistic the steering wheel looks. I cannot tell you. My girlfriend drives a Focus, not an RS, just like a Focus. And the interior is pretty similar. I mean, obviously, this is going to have a few more bells and whistles than her Focus, but that's like identical. That's crazy. This is so good, oh my god. This this RS is just unreal. Where's the rest of them? I might have to increase the drive guitar difficulty. Oh, I keep forgetting, brake, brake, brake. I gotta see where it's currently at. Because I know my difficulty set to normal. That's about it though. Sorry, I'm not, I'm like, I'm just kinda half engrossed in the world too, so I'm like racing but I'm also distracted by how awesome everything looks. Look at that, just clipping the apex a little bit off. See that? Give it a little bit of, you know, boot full of power just to bring the back end out a little bit more. Try and fix the understeer apex. Just light, see, off the accelerator. Don't need to break everything. Here we do. Heavy on the brakes, heavy on the brakes. Heavy on the brakes. 
feather, feather. Oh, I cut that corner not very well. I got a bad line right now. Let's see if we can sort it out. I also might, I, I think my, I think it's cosmetic damage right now. I think I'll, I'm gonna turn that on as well and we'll get bigger bonuses. Like the more stuff you have on, the more bonuses you actually get. But honestly, right now, it's just a lot of cosmetic stuff anyway. That's how you race. Nice job. Thank you. 100 series points. I don't think you need to do everything. Cup regulations state that no matter how you do in any given race, you'll acquire series points. Gotcha. And the better you finish, the more points you earn. Use your first mod. Can it only be used one time? So you need a you need a thousand series points. You seem to get a hundred per uh, per race, at least at this point in time. Eight thousand cre. Oh yes, yeah. so that's sixteen hundred creds just right off the bat. You want to know how to get some easy rewards? Just keep driving. The more you drive, the faster you'll get to a milestone. Gotcha. So that gives you a nice heads up on stuff. Calls for rain. Best to prep for a wet track. Wet track, huh? So what are we thinking? Setup. Tuning. Let's see. Upgrade shot. What do we have for upgrades? Is a shared set of restrictions. Oh, okay. So the, uh, there's no point in doing any of, any of that. At the moment, my tunes. Want to get the most out of what you're driving? Well, this is where you can tweak and adjust to your heart's content. So, I mean, I'd prefer it if they just kind of set it up for a. I wasn't ready for prime time. Wait, I want to go to my assist again. Are they putting me on the track? No, okay, good. We get a second. Um. Drivatory difficulty. What are we sitting at right now? This will change Average. How the other drivers out there will perform. It's the perfect option for honing your racing skills. Well, let's start with above average, just to kind of. I think normally I go for highly skilled and expert. Usually, eventually, this is where I end up. We'll start with above average, just to kind of go in there. Limit aggression. We'll race with aggression, like blocking your sides. Oh, I don't want them to do that. That'd be really douchey. Oh, wait, did I cancel that? I'm sorry. You gotta hit A. There we go. Okay, so far so good. I think we're ready to go. Keep going, modern hot hatch. Yeah, to get okay to completely unlock the seeker hat, seeker championship, you have to do all of that good stuff. Do we have any prize crates? No. Let's go. I'm ready to rock and roll. First wet track. I mean, in our own car, in the Focus RS. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, man, I did a bit of wheel spin there. Right up the middle. Are we at Brad's hatch right now? Is that what it said? Oh, I'm heading off the track. We got a mate. Oh, my God, this is horrible. Sorry. Sorry about that. Down to 16th, Dan, break. Oh my god, sorry. Oh yes, Brands Hatch. I'm familiar with this track. Oh, I'm being pushed out. Oh, I'm being pushed out. Center strains in front of me. Oh, I'm spinning him. Oh no, sorry. Oh, he's gonna be mad. Center strain, I got a T-bone center strain. Gotta let him know. Pit maneuver. Chris, you're going out, buddy. You done. Oh, st <laughs> oh man. Chris is out. That's excellent. All right, I got some work to do. What's our... Uh... Okay, we got five laps here as well. Oh man, the racer's line. Oh, I gotta let's redo that. That was bad. I gotta come in with more braking. This wet track just makes a big difference. 
I'm hard on the brakes, hard on the brakes. Back on the power. All right, fellas. Hard brake. Take him on the inside, little nudge there. Inside. Hard brake, hard brake. Use that Hyundai, who cares? It's a Hyundai. No one cares. Going a little bit, oh, but we can use that to our advantage. Look at that. Oh, my racer's line was balls. Understeering something fierce here. Back on the power. Trying to take him on the outside. Woo! Excuse me. Sorry about that. Get ready for heavy braking. There we go. Back on the power. Take him on the inside. Not a very good line there. Two more chaps to beat. Go. Take the line. That was beautiful. Nice turn. Don't need to break here. Just hit the apex. Got an Audi to overtake. Get a little ethnic on him. Don't hit the... Uh, a little bit wide. Let's see if we can recover it. We're good. We're good. You know what's funny? In North America, we don't get that car. The smallest Audi we get is the A3. And it just came to Canada, like, well, at least in Canada, uh, like a year ago, a couple years ago. It's just the Golf. Big Ram, you're mine, buddy, you're mine. Oh, he's not, look at this. Trading paint, trading paint, look at this. He's, oh, he's gonna have me in the corner. I gotta be bully him. Gotta bully him. Bully him. Look at this close racing. Don't let him tape like t tail me out. Woo! Dabba brakes off the accelerator. Bit understeery, but we're still in the line. All right, back on the power. One more lap to go, ladies and gentlemen. Hard on the brakes. Oh, she's getting a bit squirrely. This still looks really incredible. Hard on the brakes. Light throttle. Nice, back in the line. Hard brake, hard braking. Back on power, there you go. Excellent. Just a light braking on this one. Straightening out. Full power. I'm in miles per hour. I want to change that to KPH. And across the line. How's that? Woo! That's some fine driving. Good work on the track. Thank you. And I got 200 series points for that, that win. But I wonder if it's because of the difficulty. Or just where... No, it's where I came in. I like how they give people random, like, collector ones. All right, two more races to go. Let's keep it up. Oh. It's having trouble. Oh, fuck. Don't... There we go. Okay. Look at that. Mad credits. Congratulations. You just hit a milestone from all of your driving. Oh, now did I? The milestone, you get a choice of rewards. There'll be something great like cars, mods, or credits. 
but they will be different with every milestone. All right, here's the thing. We can either take 20,000 credits, we can take a Ford wagon, so it's for free, or we can take blue steel. I'm taking money. It's always smart to have extra money on hand, especially if you're, what you're seeing is your car collection. Every time you acquire a car, your car collection fills out and your collector score goes up. Raise your collector score to get your hands on higher tier cars and better rewards. Sweet. All right. So we, if I took the car, is it considered a common? That's the question. There's a lot of them here. Like, I mean, there's a G. Why would you want this? Why is it in the game? A GMC Vandura? Like, what? No, that you don't want that. That's so funny, though. Look at this. The caddy limo. You can get a. You can race limos, guys. Okay, that is pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. There's a lot of cars in this game. There it is there. So if I spend my money on a regular vehicle, um, it'll, inc it'll improve. But hold on a minute. These ones are free. So if I have them, is that considered a tier level two tier? Yeah. So common cars. Do we have any that are free here? And, the, like, see how each vehicle inc will increase our numbers. So, these ones... I'm not going to buy a Juke. You must be a, you must be on cocaine or something. A Barth 131. That's an oldie. That's a nice car. Uh, what else? Is there anything, like, that's free in this class? So, I can go ahead and buy one. But I don't know what I want to buy yet. You know what I mean? Like, should I buy one? Or should I just save up? I think we'll hold off for just a minute. Working our way up. 12,000 experience for tier two. Ready for the third like race. Some credits to spend. Hey, why not invest in a prize crate? You might get mods, driver gear, or something else great. Well, how much are the prize crates? These things are expensive. I can get like a basic one. Mods crate. Mixed. Microtransactions are not fun. No, I'm not buying a mods car. I won't I won't give in. Oh, we got ourselves a night one at Sebring. Nighttime racing. Never know what's gonna happen. Alright, I'm ready for this. Let's do it. All right, guys, here we go. First nighttime race. Good launch. Bit of wheel spin. We're taking them on the outside. Are we cut? Oh, it cuts in left. I'm not in a good racer's line. I got to get in front of this guy for a brake break. Oh, see, the track behaves differently now. They go back in and back in. Look at that. That, that. That wet track is like such a difference. It's like night and day. Oh, I was a bit over. We're still in it, we're still in it. It's the same chaps in the front every time. so far god there's a lot of t like sh like hard braking and sharp corners oh those are fireworks oh I know this track Sebring of course but it's nighttime it looks different at night get ready for a hard braking Bit of drift going on. Oh, I'm going wide. I'm gonna hit the wall. Tires. We save it. Back on the power. Oh, that was a bit wide. We didn't gain anything from that. Now we don't have to get first place, but it'll just help matters. I can't catch this S1 to save me. 
And that Golf R is like so far right now. Oh, it's too wide again. Go, go, go. I lost a lot of time there. Come on, baby. Oh, it's still wide, man. I'm taking it wide. Come on, man. Go, go, go. At least let me take the S1. Because right now it's a three-car race. I'm going to take him on the inside. It's going to get a bit dirty in here. He pushed my tail out. I'm understeering bad. Go, go, go. Oh man, he's he's hard. Oh god, he's on the outside. He took a better line. I don't know if I can catch that golf. Why does he keep getting pulled? Hard breaking, I keep going over on this one. There you go, that was okay. It could have been better, but it was not too bad. Might have shaved some time off. I think I am getting a bit closer. Oh, that was bad. Oh no, that's not gonna work at all. See, I thought maybe I would take kind of cut a bit, but as you can see, that just made things worse. Break when it says to break. It knows what's best. If I can catch this guy, that'd be excellent. But I don't know, man. It's, it's looking kind of grim on this, this Golf R here. He's so far. I just want to ram the shit out of him. Go, go, go. Oh my god, I just can't beat him. I gotta beat him in the corners coming up. I gotta get a faster time. A bit slower there. I gotta, I gotta really start pushing. You think that's gonna work? No, I can't do that. He, that guy is tough to mat, like get up to, you know? He's far, he's, he's just pushing. The car will understeer, you gotta break. I don't think I did it in that time either. No, my God, Dan, break! This is where we do it though. There we go, we're close, we're kissing his bumper. Tire squeal means slow times. Try to avoid it. We're so close, man. Here's where we're taking him. I'm gonna be a dick. Oh, shit! That's life, son! That's life! That's what happens! Woo! Oh, snap, that was douchey, but we got the pass. It took a big ram to get him off of it, but... Woo! Heavy braking, follow it properly. Oh, I'm going wide. Not a very good line there. He's long. I'll bet he's pissed. He's going to punch me later. 
but that's the win, ladies and gentlemen. We took it last minute right from under his nose and across the line. Oh, baby. That's 300 SP. Good stuff, guys. That's how you do it. Solid work out there. Cheese him. One more race to go. And we're at 600. We still got some work to do, though. It's the same person every time, though. So if I lose too many, if I get second too many times, they'll be behind me. Or in front of me, rather. And then the mod boost. Look at that. I'm almost at 200,000 creds. And almost another level up as well. Jeep Wagoneer. That's at the next level? Really, dude? Like, that's all you want? Anyway. I hope it's going to be something else. It's the final race of the series. How Watkins Glen. The and the Fury so far. Now finish strong and show everyone who will be taking home the Forza Drivers Cup. Yes, sir. I'm still waiting on the race to load. Watkins Glen full circuit. All right, I'm ready to get this victory, baby. I got bros. Let's do it. Final race in the hot hatch. Modern hot hatch, mind you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, not a very good start, but actually not too shabby. Move your butt. Oh man, I got a Fiat in front of me. I'm be I'm not I'm trading paint. Get ready for some braking. Oh, I hit the VW Scirocco. Not a bad looking car if you ask me. I'm trying to overtake. I feel like this track is going to be a lot faster. I do know this track. I am familiar with it. Oh, cutting. Taking him on the outside. Little nudge berry up paint. Oh, shit. Keep it. I got it. I got it. I got it. He's trying to spin me out, too. Look at that. We're in fourth place. Full power, it can handle it off a bit. Full power, there you go. It's that damn Golf R in the front again, dude. Oh man, I braked late, braked late, hitting the tires. Oh god. Actually, it actually hit the tires. That's pretty cool. It wasn't like a virtual wall, but look at that. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call understeer. Not a driver's best friend. There's this old saying, everyone, most people prefer, well, most drive, most petrol heads prefer oversteer. Oh, shh. Because, and then some people say, and this is, this is the kind of the rule of thumb. Oversteer scares passengers, understeer st scares drivers. What would you rather have? Exactly. Oh, this golf is just not having it. He's not having my bullshit right now. Part of the brakes. Just wait till the cars get faster, guys. Golf's in my mirror. Swing it back over. Just a little bit of dab of brake. There you go, that's money. Back on the power. See, don't need it every time. That's a big course. That's why it's only three laps long. Full power. There you go. At least you have a bit of track if you go over. I don't know if I really need to brake too much. Look at like, look how sharp you can pull in. Off the accelerator. I'm not braking. Look at that, there you go. I'm taking this kind of, well, no, it's, it's okay. My line could be better. 
125 miles an hour. We've got a big lead on us right now, guys. One of th oh shit, I'm supposed to be braking! Whoa, I managed to save that. I thought I was going off for sure. Oh, I'm understeering. Get back on. Oh, God. There you go. Not a good line at all. Still got to work on it. Beautiful. Feather it through, straight out the back. Just like that. Look at that. Sexy, sexy, that one. Go feather it out, swing it around. There we go. Ray, turn in. Don't need to break too much. Dab here, still going, full power. Whoa, losing it a little bit. All right, we got one more lap to hit up. Let's take a look at how we're doing. We're actually down. Look at that. We're up five seconds a lot, a little five seconds a lot faster. Oh god, I'm coming in way too hot. I overshot, overshot. It's okay. We can kind of salvage it. See, I wish, like, a steering wheel, like, having a steering wheel would be a lot more fun than just using a controller. And you can be a bit more precise, too, with your movements. See, I have to kind of jitter it a little. All right, we hit 138 on this straight last time, I think. Full power. Understeering, not a very good line. I don't take it very well on that corner. There we go, back on it. Look at the mirror shaking in the wind. Pretty remarkable. That's a lot of shape. See that? Keeping it steady. Look at how smooth that was. Very good. Oh, under steering a bit. But we made it work. Nice. See, you don't, don't have to break on every corner. Here you do. All right, final turn. Final straight. And the championship of the Modern Hot Hatch is ours. Woo! Got 400 skill points from that. We still have quite a few. So I don't believe you have to do every single race event to get the championship here. But... Doesn't help. Or, I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't not help. Like, look at that. We already have a thousand. So my guess is two races. I'm thinking two championship events. You did it. You finished your first series and you grabbed a spot on the podium. Fantastic work. You could tackle the next challenge for the Forza Drivers Cup after you're done basking in your victory. Thank you. Are they going to give me a boost for that? Look at all the money we got. I mean, that doesn't seem like that much, actually. Knowing Forza. Alright, so we get to pick a vehicle. Now, here's the thing. I can get 20,000 credits. 
or this stupid Jeep Wagoner, Wagoneer. You know, I'm going to take it because of free cars. That's what I want. I'm going to buy this car with its upgrades for free. Because it goes to our collection. Well, this will increase your car collection score. That's what and I'm looking you just for. added another vehicle to your racing arsenal. Why would you race a Jeep Wagoneer? Why? A Hummer H1? That's like taking a cathedral. Across the line. But it'll help our score and so we can unlock level twos. Which is what we eventually want to do. So there you go. We got half of them now, guys. Showcases are the only place to get special, rare, and unique cars. Now, these rides will definitely improve your collection score. Look at this. I can't even do these ones until I reach tier four. Kind of lets you know. So essentially, in the next one, we got to do... We got to do these bad boys. They're shorter. One race. They're only worth 250 Top Gear Limo Bowling. These are just for fun little extras. So, first championship, the modern hot hatch is kind of what we were doing. That's in the books. These are four races. Reached tier four, so I won't even be able to do any of those till later. And this is the final one, the seeker open, right? That's like the championship, I think. Ah, well. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be our first event in the books. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media. Those will be down below in the description. And I'll point the end card of this video. If you're interested, you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, there's a link to my Spreadshirt shop in the description as well. Thank you guys so much again. Take it easy. Have a fantastic day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Who the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need violent then hit you 8,000. Wait a minute, I hold that stylist style, Dan. Goddamn, Billy Jack, we still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying, so we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters. Try to run with us, they gon' need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard, just like the beta players. Grab your respirators, night invaders get like sabered. Mass on for the shooters, move like trash to bed intruder. Got that Glock and got them woofers, just Press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah. It was never, ever a game.